Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement Trophy Guide. And this time we are gramming it all in Summertime Madness. A really enjoyable puzzle adventure game developed by DP Games, published by the people's favourite, sometimes you, and is available for usually £12.49 slash $14.99 in the US. But from now until its release date on the 26th of January 2022, you can get it for £9.99 UK or £11.99 in the old US of A. So this is a game that was made under the influence of something. <laughs> Basically, a painter makes a random deal with the devil at the height of World War II and ends up in his own painting. From there, we encounter an ever-changing world and have to solve puzzles to get out before midnight. Why is it always midnight? Anyway, achievements-wise, very easy. You've got a few missables first off. We have to collect seven instruments. We've got to collect five Amelia names and collect four artworks. Uh, but the achievements for completing the game in under six, three, and one hour is simple. It's really simple, too, as long as you do not use the hint system. That's how the time on the game works, but more on that in a bit. Otherwise, it's a great, simple, enjoyable game we can get done in around one to one and a half hours. So, with that being said then, let us begin and enjoy the original Bob Ross cutscene in all his glory. In fact, let's call him Nob Goss. So, <laughs> just go ahead, start a new game. If you want to, it's always worth um, uh, going into your settings and putting the sensitivity faster or slower, whatever way you prefer. But this cutscene, these cutscenes and everything in the game are unskippable. So, again... Just enjoy Nob Goss in all of his glory. Everything was to be washed away. The painter lived there, isolated from the outside world. The worse the terrors of war became, the more the artist obsessively painted beautiful landscapes as a contrast to the evil he had witnessed. One night, a mysterious figure appeared in the house, seemingly out of nowhere. The stranger walked slowly around the room. He then sat down in front of the artist to offer him a deal. The chance to enter one of his own creations, far away and free of war. But he would have to find his way back out before midnight, or else his soul would become trapped in the canvas forever. Feeling alone on the edge of madness, the artist shook the mysterious man's hand, accepting the deal. A few moments later, the house was empty. Because that's what you do, right? Some random guy shows up in your apartment and you go, Yes, yeah, screw this place. Let's just jump in there for a bit. And why? Why why you agree stuff? Right. We are going to play on Explorer mode, it makes no difference to the uh, achievements. Basically, classic in advance, you have to beat the game in 6 or 3 hours. Explorer mode, you've got no time limit. Um, but again, as I was saying then, this again, little bit of cutscene is going to happen, we can't skip. But with the timed achievements, now, time basically goes on if you use hints. So, you'll have a stopwatch, and as long as you use no hints, it should always say 6, 5 past 6, roughly around 6 o'clock. The more hints you use uh, means the more time that goes on. So, and the way you do that is you press the Y button to bring up your stopwatch and then press the A button to get a hint. So, that is what we are not going to do. So, do not bring up the stopwatch or anything throughout the entire game. But as we begin then, we're going to go straight ahead of us and press the X button. Pressing the X button will make you continuously run. You can press the right bumper to run or you can just... Press the X button once to continuously run. So straight ahead of you is this big old chonky hand. Um, I don't remember painting this. Was I off my nut? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> well, to be honest, like I said, a lot of this game is going to be kind of designed to be what the hell was I off my nut when I done this. So this is the stopwatch then. So you can press the white button to have a look at your stopwatch. But as long as you don't press the A button then you shouldn't use a hint, which means time shouldn't go forward, which means you should get all the achievements anyway. So just, you can, like I said, so you can bring up the stopwatch, just never press the A button to use a hint. So, got that one down? Good, let's go. So onto the boat we go. Go to the right as we get onto the boat and climb up this big old boy pipe and then press the A button to swing it left once on the steering wheel and press the A button again to swing the steering wheel right again. What that's done is open up a noise gate for us. And heading back down the pipe, go straight in front of us, through the newly opened gate, 
And there's a lever on the left wall, so give that a little headbutt. And then down, and then what we're going to do is go straight back up the same pipe we went. And, you know, it's immediately straight in there. Interact with the steering wheel again. Obviously pressing the A button, I'm sure you would have got that by now. And then we're going back down, head to the left, and now this gate is opened. Now we can interact with this steering wheel. Man, it's just 100% going at the minute, isn't it? So look behind you, there's a big R boy wooden plank. So get your buns up that, and we can ring this first bell. The aim of this game, or this puzzle, is to just interact with three bells to, well, do it. So let's do it. So that's the first out of bell three, out of three bells. So jump down and go back up the same pipe we did at the beginning. And interact with the steering wheel again. And then go behind it and jump down. Go through the gate and open the lever. Put that one back up. And that's job done. And now we can go back up the <laughs> go back up the pipe again. <gasps> Fat boy's already out of breath here. Go past the steering wheel. Go halfway up this wooden plank and then drop down one level. And now, just behind, up this wooden plank, we can interact with this bell. So again, apologies if the pacing is a bit too fast. Uh, if it is, uh, feel free to pause it or slow the video down, sort of times two, times four. But again, I do apologize if the pacing is a bit fast sometimes. So I'll try and explain as we go. So heading back down, jump down to the right, go through this open gate, and bell end. Uh, oh, sorry, just regular bell. Sorry, don't ring its bell end, because, uh, well, he liked that. But that is the second one done. Beautiful. Right, let's go behind us now. And go basically the way we came. So we're going back up this pipe. And as you can see, there is a newly formed pipe we can go up. But for now, we're just going to go past the steering wheel, up this wooden plank, and pull this lever down. Incredibly, with no arms. It's one of those. We have no arms and no legs. We are a potato. Uh, jump down anyway, and then go through the open gate. Look behind you for a steering wheel. And that is going to spin that gate open at the top, as we can see. So push the lever down on the wall. And this wooden plank is going to come back down. So R matey yourself back up. And then we can jump back down to the right again. And this time we can now climb up this pipe. Obviously we've rung the end of bell. So up here, and before moving on, interact with this music box. Now this is a tiny orchestra. There are seven instruments that we have to collect through the game. And now we can just jump on this big anchor and finish this puzzle. But like I said earlier, there are seven instruments we have to collect, five Amelia names we have to collect, and four pieces of artwork. So again, they're all easily located, just keep following. Uh, so from here, what we're going to do is basically go straight ahead of us. Uh, basically towards this lighthouse, but do not go in the lighthouse yet. Go around to the back, and this is what I mean by Amelia. There's going to be a name scribbled there, and I know what you're thinking, Amelia, Amelia Clark. Yes, well, there's a whole big message at the end of the game, which you'll hilariously see. So before ringing the bell, when we go into the lighthouse, interact with the big violin thing. That that is a violin, right? I hope so. Otherwise, I've just looked like a complete tool uh, again. So, when we interact with the bell, that uh, kind of acts like a lift. And, wow, well, very nice bedroom. I wouldn't want to live here, but, you know, screw it. So, there is our location then. We have to get um, to the dark side of the moon, the cheese side of the moon. So, from here, we're just going to interact with this lever. Now, to rotate the bridges, you just press left or right on the left stick. Now, this is the most inner one, the most inner one. Now, for the most part, where the yellow dot is, is where we need the flag to be. So, if you do it, kind of, so this first bit is kind of looking like an L shape, if you want to do it like that. Sorry, I went off a bit quickly there. So, the first one um, is looking like a sort of L shape, and then we can move on. So, go to the right here. Just keep going. Now, another big thing is, it does get windy up here. So, when you start seeing bits of wind, it can put you off. So, just be careful or just hide behind one of the many um, wooden boards that appear here. So, again, as you've just seen there, um, there was a bit of wind, but I was behind the board, so the wind stopped. Um, but, again, if it does start being windy, just... Um, Try and keep yourself on um, with the left stick. Try and wiggle yourself on. So now it's the outer edge. And as you can see, I've put the flag where the yellow dot is. That is exactly where it needs to be. So yellow dot, flag on it, and it'll be the same for the next one as well. So again, just always be mindful of the wind. Try and get behind a board if you can. And as you can see, there was a musical instrument on the right, but we'll come back to that in just a bit. So go back towards the way you came. 
And if you do fall off, you just end up by the elevator, so you can ding yourself back on. But all the puzzles stay the same, so nothing resets. You've just got to come back up here, that's all. So near panic, brothers. So there is only one way to go. When we get here, there is a cutscene. And I say there's only one way to go, because everything else has got gaps in it at the minute. So we jump down here, we're going to take a little left right here. And interact once again with the lever. Now we are doing the sort of uh, second one. And again, you can see the yellow dot in the right hand corner. So we are just going to keep going until the flag is on the yellow dot. It's just all go. I'm, like I said, fat boy's out of breath already. God damn it, man. I say as I've already ordered a takeaway for tonight. You fat bastard. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, now you should have um, got it exactly where it was. The flag on the yellow dot. Now, from here, we're going to turn, <laughs> eventually, when I don't get hassled and harassed by the wind. Sexual wind harassment. So jump down, and we're going to the left. And there's the musical instrument. So before going straight, what we're going to do here is take a left. Boop. Take a left. And again, I normally take a second to sit behind the board just in case a bit of wind comes. <laughs> a bit of wind. But here is the second out of seven... Uh, sorry, third. Obviously, we've done the violin uh, at the bottom of the lift. So that's the third out of seven musical instruments. Now from here, we can just go left again. And now we're basically going all the way to the door. So again, there's only one way to go. Try and avoid the wind. Try and avoid being gassed on. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I am as childish as ever. As I'm sure, as I'm uh, sure, you're still well aware. But with the door, it can be quite tricky. For the wind, the wind can get you, and it did get me here twice, which pissed me off. But again, like I said, you just end up at the elevator anyway. So get here, and then just uh, spam the A button until you can hopefully just jump straight through the door. Again, if you fall off, go up the elevator and just get to the end. Puzzles do not reset at all in this game, which is good. So we've got Mr. Praying to Jeebus, man. Help me, Jeebus. I am turned into stone, but I am giant. Turn... Uh, t turn straight. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But basically, go straight, and you're going to see this little prayer box thing. Um, right at the end. So what you need to do here is just press the A button once. That's all you need to do. Pray, press the A button once, and then pop your controller down until the next cutscene begins. If you keep pressing the A button, you'll miss the next cutscene and actually miss uh, the next puzzle to do. So... Press it once and chill out for a second, bruh. So yeah, I think if you keep pressing the A button, this next scene doesn't appear, I believe, anyway. So, we've got a small little tiny puzzle to do, and I put the solution on screen anyway. Excuse me, but basically from left to right is 1 to 5. So you just have to click on each corresponding candle as it is. So it is 1, 5, 4, 3... And then one again, and that completes this puzzle. Now, here is the most trickiest collectible in the game. And it's only tricky because you've basically got to walk backwards and then hope that when you turn around, you can actually see the canvas behind you. But obviously, it's very dark at this point. So, from here, we're not going up the stairs yet. We're going to go to the left of the big giant statue praying Jeebus, man. And if we stay about here... From where we are now, looking directly at him from the left, just keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards. Don't turn just yet. So what we need to do is basically this um, uh, big praying Jeebus man. We need to just get him out of view enough that when we turn around, we can just see the canvas. So he's just, as you can see, he's just fading, just fading, just fading, just fading, just fading, just fading. I turn around, I still can't see him. So, there he is. So, we could just see the statue again. So, just keep walking back. If you turn around and can't see him, just turn around and then just keep walking back. But make sure you're looking at the statue, but just keep walking back. And then, eventually, for me, I can just... You can literally, as a dot, just see him in the background. 
And so as soon as you can see your painting, then you can start walking towards it, and then that is it. Then we can just go back up, go up the stairs, jobs your nan's uncle, up the bum, all sorted. What? Anyway, so that is how you do that one. I did have to restart it the first time because I did end up getting lost, but all you got to do is just keep walking backwards until the giant statue fades out of view, and then hopefully when you turn around, the... Uh, art should be there. Now, if you're worried about getting your way back, you can probably just see, like, little orange dots, fireflies. Just keep walking towards those fireflies, and as you can see, when you turn a little bit, uh, the giant praying Jeebus man, <laughs> statue man, uh, comes back into view. So that is, if you get lost, just keep following the fireflies. <sighs> okay, right, so that is how you do that one. So what we're going to do now is, um, I mean, you're going to basically be pissed off. Because we've just got to walk up a whole heap of stairs. Now, when I signed this deal with the devil, I expected to be just chilling in my painting for a bit and then come out. Nobody said I had to walk upstairs. Man, the devil is a dick for doing this. Sorry, he just is. Okay, look. Look at the amount of stairs we're going to walk up. Ugh. Anyway, walk all the way up the stairs and then just interact with the painting at the end to um, finish this giant statue. Uh, nice hole. I hope that's your back and not your butt, because, uh, well, I hate to be at the back of that, with a giant hole like that. Yeah, anyway, keep walking. <laughs> eh. So we made it! And what we're going to do is actually come up to our first achievement. So we're nearly 20 minutes in and we're only going to be coming up to our first achievement now. But what you're going to do is turn directly around first, interact with this, um, that's a lute, right? Or a ukulele or... Man, why am I so stupid? Anyway, interact with that first and then this basically, this that sheet there was the um, secret music that we've got to do. Again, the solutions are going to come on screen, but basically it's the Titanic theme. So, yeah. Here's the solution! And it is! So, to play the secret song to get our first achievement, go to the fifth key and press it four times. Then the fourth one once, then five twice, four once, and then five, six, seven, six. So hopefully you just got that one well. Oh no, help me Jack, I'm flying! Right, anyway, do the puzzle solution. Three... Seven, one, there it is, five, and then eight. Now, what's even better about this is we can actually skip quite a lot of these puzzles. So what's going to happen is a house is going to appear, specifically that house, in which we'd have to do quite a bit of puzzles and, you know, go nuts trying to figure everything out. But what we're going to do is get a separate achievement, go to a different place, and completely skip a lot of these puzzles altogether. So that's handy. So when we get off the boat, uh, keep going to the right down the shoreline. For the time being. And just here. So obviously, like I said, that's where the house... That's what we're supposed to do, but what we're going to do is see these uh, bunch of rocks. All we're going to do is just look look at them, press the A button to throw them, and after about two minutes, a hand, giant hand's going to come out, um, grab it, and then we're going to go. Uh, we're going to unlock the Obel Lake achievement and go to the next part of the game. So well, that just shaves off quite a bit of time, which is always nice. But it does take around two to two minutes and thirty seconds. So obviously, I've cut the video down for a little bit of time. Which is why you're going to see it uh, be done in about 30 seconds, but yeah. So just keep doing this for around 2 minutes, a giant hand's going to pop out. Hey, I'm a baseballer, I can catch a stone ball. Well, there's something in the water, that is why everyone's getting pregnant. Well, why is that an analogy, by the way? Um, surely that's uh, not how babies work, right? 
Well, that's what you can tell your kids anyway. So what we're doing for now then is just going to keep walking forward. Um, it's all dark, it's all scary, and then... Boo! <laughs> Okay, nothing actually really jumps out to you. Uh, but we're just going to keep walking forward, and then what you're going to see is this big kind of giant goddess type thing. I mean, since we've got a long walk to do, why not um, just have a little look down and do a little spin? See, it's all fun, Red. And yeah, so just keep walking forward. Um, if you want, like I do, you can be really childish and pretend that she's got a booger in her nose. <laughs> I can see right up your booger nose. <laughs> and booger chin, etc, etc. But yeah, we've got a long walk to go, so you can just piss about or you can just, you know, be actually serious and not childish like me. I just keep walking forward. Booger! So if you were to fail or mess something up, you can actually just go back to the main menu and you can just um, go back to chapter select and you'll start again from right here, so if that, in case that happens. So when we get down to the bottom of the stairs, we're going to head left onto the train tracks, mate. And there's going to be a lever right at the very end, which we're going to push. Now this uh, particular city has a lot of back and forth, a lot of switches to pull, a lot of back and forth. It's an awfully confusing one, so hopefully, you know, we just get through this nicely. So what we can do is go back the way we came. Now, what you're going to see is little orange, uh, what are called fireflies. Later on, we're going to need to collect 30 of these. So if you uh, manage to catch one, just keep catching them um, as much as you can until a little bit later on. But we do need 30 for an achievement later on. Um, but again, if, if you do actually collect any, they stay collected. So if you collect 10 in this level, you only need to collect 20 later on. So... Right, so from here what we're going to do is keep going straight forward and up this tower, as you've just seen a little orange firefly there. Keep going up and up and up. Again, the devil is a dick because stairs? Who the hell? That wasn't part of the deal, bro. So, uh, pick, click the switch there, the only one, and then this little lever will pop forward. Again, you think it should, shouldn't be a waste of time. You think you should be able to either jump across or just swim across. But there we go, we got no arms and legs, apparently. So, all the way down from here, we're going to go to the right... And then we're going down the steps. And we're going to take another right as well. And from here, take another right. And then from here, take a left, go down. And then just nip it past this uh, little path. That's what this is. It's a lot of right, left, up your mum, all types of stuff up your bum. Uh, go immediately, turn <laughs> immediately around, what I was trying to say, and interact with the lever there. That's what I was trying to say before I started talking about mums and bums for some reason. So, gate one open. That's nice and quick. But we got a lot to do. So immediately turn around. And now we're just going to go behind the train because there is another tiny orchestra. The old saxophone, saxophone. So that should be five out of seven now for the tiny orchestra. So from here, go um, directly sort of to the other side of this little area. And we're going to see this... Um, uh, time tickery doodah thing. So what you can do when you press A on it, as you can see, it goes to daytime. So from here, turn around. And I was just pointing out where the fireflies were there. Which you can only get, by the way, in the night when it's raining. So here we are then at this tower. We're going to climb all the way up it. And again, it's going to be another lot of back and forth between day and night and night and day. And yeah, sometimes you're Batman and then sometimes you're Bruce Wayne. That Yeah, that type of thing. So that opens up another gate, and it closes gate one again. Yeah, screw you, gate one. So, going back down. Luckily, we can just tumble down the stairs this time. And go straight from here. It's a nice city, mind. I'd, I'd be well impressed. 
<laughs> Would you rather stay in World War II or come here? Yeah. Go to the right slightly, and there is a shop which you're going to come into later. But for now, just go, uh, go straight. Keep going straight, straight, as straight on the narrow as you can go straight. Through this little door, and you can see this little train track. Behind this train again, we're going to find another collectible. It's the Amelia collectible this time. So this should now be the second out of fifth um, Amelia collectibles. And then from here, just go backwards and interact with this lever there. That's going to open up a yet another gate. So go backwards, and as you can see, there is the time tickery wiener bag. Why well, can't I remember what they're called? Uh, just interact with it anyway. Turn it into night so we can become Gotham's hero once again. And what we're going to do is just go straight. And we're going to end up in the sort of beginning area where we were. That's exactly what I mean by it. There's just so much going on. Uh, so again, like I said, with Fireflies, if you uh, come across any and the big hand pops up, just smash the A button there. So up the stairs to the left, we're going to go under this bridge. And we're going to keep going to the left, past all this, to the left. Don't go down the stairs. Go to the left, keep going. And we're going to see another set of stairs that we can climb up. So up and up, up. And then up and up and up. And then up and up and up. Man, these stairs, bro. God damn it. So interact with this one, and this is the one that will open up Gatey 1. Or Gate I. Gate I I. Right, we're good now. So it's safe from here. So anything so if you do end up making a mistake or whatever, you will always return to that point, which is nice and handy. So we'll just head back down for the time being. And then if you go to the left and straight here. We're going to see another stopwatch wiener bag thing. But the, the sand, bloody... Anyway, I'm just going to say we'll turn it to day. So, now we are Bruce Wayne again, turning into daytime. So, go down the steps to the left of you. Go to the right. And then right again. And then there's going to be a switch just at the end of here, which we're going to do to open up that shop door. Basically, it's got a missable achievement in there. So, that's the switch that opens up the door. That must be a pain in the ass to open up every morning, mind. Uh, but <laughs> who am I to know? There's nobody here. So from here, we're going back up the stairs to the left. And then just keep going straight. And go left. Now at this tower, before going up, head to the left. And there's going to be a well-hidden instrument for us to collect. So that's now six out of seven. And then we can go up the, uh, the old wooden pairs. Give the lever the good whack down of life. Ish. It's impressive you can do that with no hands and no arms, by the way. The old uh, potato body going really well so far. So, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, drop back down. Here we go. And then from here we go into the right. And again, we're just sort of skipping it. And we're going to turn it back into Batman nighttime territory. With a crap Batman, because we've got no one to fight and no one to rescue. But, well, no one's going to tell us off, are they? So, go directly behind you, and we're going back underneath the bridge. Just get through the pillars there. And head down these steps. Basically, back towards the beginning of the area again. Going back down the train tracks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I tell you what, it's worse than Bioshock collectibles. Going back and forth and bloody everything. Uh, so, back into this next part. Back into this man next part. Na 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 na. Hey! Na 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 na. And we're going to turn it back into Bruce Wayne Day to it territory. There we go. Derishimoth. Right, jump back off. And now there's a newly opened gate to the left of us we can go through. So head straight down here and then right over the bridge. Right again. And interact with this lever. Sorry, I thought we were going to get that one missable achievement there. But we weren't. So. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds about that. Right, so gate two opens up. Not fully for now. And then obviously we're locked, so we can't go to the left, so we are going to the right. And then we're going in to the right again into this sort of tunnel area. Now, what we've got to do from here, we're going left. We're going next left. And then we're out of the dungeons and dragons and death. So to the right and keep going straight. To the right, sorry, almost buggered that one up as well. So right up the stairs, and we're going to turn it back into night territory. Again, a lot, <laughs> a lot of this is the same. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking quite ahead there. So go directly behind you again. Go back underneath the bridge, and then down the steps. We're back in the starting area, and once again, we're just heading back down. 
So remember to always uh, just press the X button once so you can keep sprinting. Not using bolt style, which is a damn shame, but how about fast walking then? Painters are lazy gits. They don't do no running. Just joking, painters. Don't hate me. Love you. So we're going to turn it back into Bruce Wayne Day Territory again. And you're probably thinking that, what is the point of this? But there is a point, honestly. So we are back to where we came. So this time we're going straight. And now we can go and get that missable achievement. So the switch we'd done earlier, we can now go inside this shop, interact with the TV, and that will be the video kill the radio star. Twitch kill the YouTube star. Anyway, out of there, just press the B button to back out, go to the right and jump up these stairs, go to the left and up these stairs. And here we are. So there's going to be a switch on our right, but we need to turn it into Batman territory first. So just go ahead and do that, and then turn behind you, and this is what opens up gate 2 out of 17. Minus 15, so just gate 2 out of 2, lovely. Uh, but that's basically it now for this area, so kind of confusing, but I hope we got, <laughs> I do hope we got somewhere. Um, turn it back to daytime to carry on. So yes, video killed the radio star, um, and then DVD killed the video the the. Video star, Blu-ray killed, and then everyone else killed, and now we're just like, well, we're all lazy gits, aren't we, when it comes to technology. So, down to the right here, and we're back in this big train area. We need to actually turn it back to night now. By the way, who the hell came up with these rules where some gates open in the night and some gates open in the day? Nobody lives here, bruh. What, what the hell? Who's coming up with this shit? God damn it, Batman. So, night time, straight. And uh, yeah, like I said, we are done with this area now. We've got the missable achievement. There is another missable achievement, but we're going to come back at the end of the game to get it, which is why we need 30 fireflies, by the way. So jump up these stairs, turn directly around behind you. Oh, sorry, go up these next set of steps. Yeah, I almost got that. Sorry, sorry, just buggered you up then, didn't I? Interact with the lever, and that is the city done. Confused? No. Good looking? Damn right you are. Horny? Bonk, go to horny jail. So let us get off, and we're going to go straight through the door. Uh, apparently, it's pain time. We're in Spain without the S. If we can make it anyway. So we've got another giant puzzle to do, but the first thing that we're going to do is press the start button. Go down to your settings, go to audio, and pull the volume all the way down to the left. If you do not do this, um, you can't actually complete this puzzle. Which is <laughs> very funny, actually. It's a great... Honestly, it's definitely one of the, the best... Or generally one of the most enjoyable games that sometimes you have published. It really makes you think, but yeah. So we have to turn the volume all the way down, then we can interact with the sword. This guy looks like he's just about to grab a booby for the final time before he drowns, which, uh, I mean, you can't blame him, can you? Um, oh, sorry, it's a belly. It looked like a boob there from, from the way. Anyway, so that interact with the sword. Now, from here, what you need to do, just keep walking backwards. So look straight at the guy's big a-hole. B hole, whatever hole that is, just keep walking behind you again. Uh, basically, we're going to be doing the art collector, getting the second one. It's not as bad as the first one, though, so that's good. So just keep walking behind you, directly looking at big fat guy's hole, and then eventually, when he again, just when he uh, goes out uh, of fades, out of obscurity, turn around, and you should be able to see the second out of four art collectorinos. So it's going to be through a door. There it is. So, interact with this one. That should be the second out of fourth one. And then we can just go ahead and get rid of uh, this. Now, I tried walking forward here and it didn't work for some reason. So, look directly at the door and keep walking behind you until you can see the giant fat man statue. Of the guy grabbing a big belly before he drowns. I don't know what the hell's going on. Or you can just turn around and again, just follow the fireflies. But again, it's, it's literally just a case of walking, walk, walking up a lot of stairs again. Devil, you a dick, man.
<laughs> Sorry, okay. <sighs> right, we made it. We made it up the stairs finally. So interact with the painting. And we're just going to go immediately over the big uh, dinosaur boner right here. Now we are going to be going into the house and we're going to be getting a couple of achievements. So the first thing first, turn to the left, we're going to go into the lighthouse. And we're just going to ring the old end bell to nip on up. Now, basically, we're, look, we're going to be going for the third Amelia collectible, but it wasn't, we weren't able to get it before. We can get it now. So that's why we're getting it now and not earlier. So back up to the nice room. And then if you look to the right, you're going to see this little telescope. And you can just see the balloon in the distance. That is where the third one is. So interact with the telescope. Now, what you need to do, if you start from the moon, um, or the clouds or whatever, look for the moon, and it's basically just to the left of the moon. So go all the way up moon side, and then eventually you should just see it in the middle. There it is. So I don't know if it's random from where you start, but um, it's literally just to the left of the moon. So there we go. That should now be your third Amelia collectible done. Job is a goddamn good one. Right, ring the old end bell to nip back down. We're going to be going for Amelia Clark number four. Uh, by the way, the final message uh, from the dev in this game it is hilarious. I can't wait for you to see it. But <laughs> I, I, I laughed. Somebody has a serious Amelia Clark um, fan obsession, which you can't blame him. So anyway, from the lighthouse, go straight. And on the end of this house, next to this sort of graffiti bit right here, is the fourth out of five Amelia. The last one's going to be the end of the game. So do not panic your bun bags off about it. So go around, this time we're going into the house, so up the old clown steps. It looks like one of those um, wacky <laughs> wacky houses that you get in, uh, that you see in like uh, arcades and stuff like that. So from here, this is the sort of main area. So from here we're going to go left, and then right up these stairs. Obviously straight, and we're going to go left, up these set of steps, and we're going to see the final tiny orchestra. A seat, which is everyone's most favourite instrument, <laughs> pretty much. So that should now be all of the instruments, and then what we can do is just head all the way back down, and we are now back at the sort of starting area again. So hopefully you got that achievement with no issues, brother. Right, so for the next one, we go for another achievement. Go up these stairs, go to the right, and then up these stairs. Go through this doorway on the left, and just go all the way down, and that this is basically a secret room. It's going to be a secret room with a secret achievement, secretly. Uh, it's a secret. Uh, shut up. Uh, it's a secret. So, the Phantom of the Opera, it's a secret. Shut up. So, I mean, you can stay here if you want to, but if not, like most of us, because uh, we're not really into opera, let's be honest, do we? Uh, we can just turn back around and get out of there. So, you should have that achievement done now. Gonna get quite a few of these missable achievements done. So, turn right, go back down, and then back down these next set of steps. And turn right here, and we are out of the house. Bang tidy, brother. All right, try and get back down. And we're heading towards the boat this time. So swim across. Nice bits of grass. It's a beautiful scene, by the way. Beautiful scenery. This game, I really, really enjoyed it. And it is beautiful to look at. So from here, there's going to be another door on the, on the, on the boat. Interact with the time door. And there's going to be a little switch for us to press. Give that the old press of life. And... Bam, bidi, bam, 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 a fire in the night, beautiful, can't beat fireworks, unless there's one shoved up your butt, then you probably can beat it. Uh, go back through <laughs> the time door, and now we've basically got a randomized puzzle, but it's not too bad, it's not very difficult. Um, it's just a case of finding the correct door, so head sort of towards where the big hand is. Now, as you can see, the time for me is 6.05. It may be a little bit different for you, maybe 6.15, 6.20 or whatever. Press the white button, have a look at the stopwatch. Again, do not press the A button to get a hint. So what we have to do now is find the doors. We've got to go through three particular doors, but we've got to find one that has the same time that we've got. So again, for me, it is 6.05, so we just have to find the correct door that has the same time as we are. Again, just press the Y button to have a look if you if you keep getting stuck. Um, but again, this bit's going to be just random for everyone. So like I said, it's not too difficult, but you do have to do a little bit of searching. So 6.05, keep on looking. It can be a pain in the ass, or you might get lucky and find it straight away. Ha <laughs> ha! 
But hey, so finally found it then. So again, hopefully you find it a little bit quicker than I do. So when you go through the first door, a whole bunch of doors will disappear, disappear, narrowing your search, which always comes in handy. So we have to find yet another door again with 605 on it. Uh, luckily, we don't have to f uh, search as many doors. Again, the time could be random for you. You should be fine though. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's good then. So we just found it uh, just in the nick of time. <laughs> time? Door? Nick of time? Nick of time? Huh, well, anyway, now we need to find a third one. And hey, lucky me, it was directly in front of me. So as soon as you go through this third door, we are going to go through this long, and I mean seriously long, corridor. Literally, the developers must have gone, how can we stretch the game out just a little bit? I know, let's bot let's piss these guys off and just put one massive corridor that takes about two and a half to three minutes to walk down. Um, but basically, the number of the door, as you can just see, every other couple of doors, you're going to get the next number. So, as you'll be able to see, there's going to be four, there it is, and then it'll be five. Basically, we need to go through the same door that has the number 13 on it. Oh yes, that lucky number. So, again, just keep walking for the next couple of minutes. Have a little sing-song and chit-chat to yourself. But we need, as soon as we find the number 13, we need to go through that door for another missable achievement. So, don't miss the door. Here it comes, here it comes. If you were born in 1992, you're going to be 30 this year. <laughs> well, I'm 32 in a couple of days, so that stinks about. Right, so anyway, here is number 13. So let us go through this door. And you can take a little look around. Your little baby dolphin shark. A couple of things in here. It looks very nice. I certainly enjoy to have this bedroom. Any pot? Uh, nope, nothing on there. Right, so anyway, we've got the missable achievement. As soon as we come out of here, we are on to the next giant statue. Now, this one, it's not bad. Like, it's not hard at all. It's just a pain in the ass because it's so long and we've got to do a lot of walking. I mean, by the end of this, I'm going to need a goddamn good couple of beers and a Jack Daniels honey and coke. So, first things first, just walk directly ahead of you. You can just see the lights in the distance. Uh, the little bit of candlelight. So, yeah. I mean, for the most part, it's quite linear. But there is just a lot of goddamn walking in it. Didn't enjoy this bit, to be honest, at all. If you can, try and go up the stairs first time instead of being a mongo like me and going past it. So, go left here. <laughs> and, of course, right. And then right. Just ignore, basically, just ignore the black holes. So, we're going up. What we're going to do is get the third out of four art collectibles as well right here. So, from here, we're just going to be going straight. So I almost go right. Do not go right. Sorry, we're going straight. Sorry, I keep steering you wrong. God, I am douchebaggery. Sorry. <laughs> it's sorry. So head up the stairs. And uh, this is what I mean. Like, you think if we could just get it done first in just a minute or two, great. But it's a lot of walking. And, you know, our wiener bagging barely a fast walk isn't really helping. So this is just a linear path, as we can see. As soon as you head up the stairs, we're going to get the third or the fourth art collectibles. Now for me, I'll tell you what annoyed me. You should now be able to uh, click it. For me, I'd already clicked it, almost finished the game, and then my I had a power cut. So everything that I've collected through the game stays collected, which is good. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I had to basically re-record the entire game as I had a power cut, which pissed me off. So that's why for the next couple of collectibles, you don't see me um, actually collecting on screen. But it should still be there for you. So that should be three out of four. Now we can go back down the way we came. And really, we're only about 15, 20 minutes away now from the end of the game. Because we have to collect 30 butterflies in a bit. And yeah, we'll come back to that. So go left. And then, of course, here we're going right up the stairs. And then right and then up and then straight up. No pissing about, bruh. Left. Straight up. Ah! Oh! And then we're going to... And finally, we're going to see Nob Goss in all his glory. So, um, interact with Big Nob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Big Nob. 
Big Knob Goss instead of Bob Ross, of course. We are the cheap version of Bob Ross. So that's going to happen. A little bit of something's going to happen. So now what we need to do is we need to go all the way back down to the floor and go to the other side, which is just... <laughs> Why? Why can't we just fly? We're in a painting. Why can't we just bloody fly? So anyway, um, again, we're just going to go back down. So from here, go left, of course. And there should only be one linear path to nip back down. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, having to do this once was a bit of a... Was a bit of a ball sack. But um, having to do this twice because of Angrelad power cuts. Obviously, we're going down the stairs, by the way. Uh, yeah, really pissed me off. So, from here, if you turn to the right and go behind the statue, just in the distance, you can see the flickering of two little lights. So, of course, that is where we are heading. And if you go somewhere else, then... Well, good luck finding your own way in the dark, dark. Up we go. So, let's go and... <laughs> Let's go and finish this then. So, straight. I'm glad I could have been of assistance right there. Up the stairs to the right. Up the next set of wooden pairs. Now, once again, I pretend to go right, but we need to go straight and down. Sorry. So, again, sorry to almost mess you up there, but straight and down. And then up these set of stairs. Again, I'm going to punch the devil square in his nipples after this one. Go right up these next stairs. Putting all these stairs up for me. Go to the left and then up these next set. You can just see a uh, big knob goss in the distance there. So from here we are going right. The devil made me do it. Made me walk these stairs. I'm going to punch him in his pubic hair. Go up these steps. And then from here we're going straight. And then of course left. Then left again. And then finally, we are on um, number two. So we just need to interact with a uh, uh, big small knob again. And he's basically going to end up down the... Uh, just in front of the statue. So now, we've got to turn around. A little cutscene is going to happen here. And as it turns out, no, there's not going to be a cutscene here. So, uh, <laughs> right. So, again, steering you wrong. My bad. So go to the left, down the stairs here. I wish you could just jump off, like. From here, we're going to the right. And then, of course, we're going right again. Oh, man. Left down the stairs and right down the stairs. Don't start singing the Peppa Pig theme tune. Goddamn kids. Why do they infect you with Blippi and Peppa Pig and all types of crap? Sorry. It's, it's been a long day. Been a long day. So, go left and then right up these next steps. And now, after, after we find um, a big, small knob goss right here... Then the cutscene's going to happen. And he's going to uh, end up in front of the statue. And there we go. He's just, uh, yeah, just have a look at the hole. Take a look at my hole, buddy. Tell me if there's an infection or something, because uh, it hurts. So down the stairs, we're obviously basically... We, we need to go up the stairs, by the way. Um... <laughs> Just in case you were wondering what the hell, we do need to go up to be able to go down. Again, that's just the devs going, let's stretch it out just a little bit. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks very much. Dickholes. So, from, we're going left. Uh, straight. Right up these stairs. And again, so yeah, this bit takes... Yeah, a good six or seven minutes, something like that to do anyway. But we're going straight down. And then finally we can start heading down. So to the left, down the stairs. To the left, down the stairs. Nah, 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 nah. Stop it. <laughs> right, so we have, we've made it. Please hurry up. I've got crap in my head. I need to get out. Oh, do you know what I mean? Why couldn't they have just gone, all right, look, there's a lift here you can just nip down. Don't worry about that. Don't You don't have to do all the walking. There's a lift. Um, but again, you know, might as well get our money's worth for the game, I suppose, isn't it? Alright, so, there you go. So, if you've done everything correctly, which you should have. I mean, it's easy enough to do anyway, but you should see Knob Goss just in the dif distance there. Interact with him, and that does this final giant puzzle.
but not quite. So from here, turn directly around, go across the water. And if you look to the left of you, you're going to see the final Amelia. Again, I've already collected this and got the achievement, so click on it. Make sure it's got, this should be a fifth out of fifth, and you'll get the achievement for that one. So, yes! Ah, right, go across the hill. And eventually, just on top of one of these brows, you're going to see the man. And this is what basically ends the game. So we have ended the game. Go uh, towards him. That ends the game, which is why we needed to do the Melia thing first um, before ending the game. Otherwise, you'd have to just do the whole giant statue bit again. And that's a pain in the bum to snatch, I tell you. Right. So this next cutscene in the credits, they take about six, seven, eight minutes-ish. But of course, I've edited it down because, wait, I mean, you're going to watch it anyway. Cheers for all the stairs, devil douchebag. You are a prink of life. By the way, this is after the end credit scene. This is the message. Help me meet Amelia Clark. This whole game was just a smoke scream. <laughs> now it's the real mission. And fair play, whoever wrote this, legend. Absolute legend. Because why the hell not? Amelia Clark, she's a boot. She is a boot. Who wouldn't want to meet Amelia Clark? Uh, and, yeah, so that's just a cracking message. So it should stay on your screen for about 40, 50 seconds, something like that. But now, again, what you should get is the three achievements for completing the game in six, three, and one hour. As long as you didn't use any hints at all, which you shouldn't have, following this rather fantastic guide. I hope it was fantastic. I hope I wasn't too douchebaggery. But you should get all three achievements for completing all of those um, uh, for six, three, and one. So when we get here, we're going to go into chapter select and choose the chapter of pain. So Spain without the S. My pain. Oh my God, somebody hit me in the testes and it hurt. And it really hurt. So what we're going to be doing then is grabbing the missable achievements. So we're going to be grabbing... So in fact, no, we're going the art collector first. The fourth and final art collector, which wasn't here. Um, or it was, but it was a bit more complicated to get. So as soon as we get here, again, jump over the dinosaur bone. And keep going straight. And then on this little lone island, just in front of us, you're going to see a door. And all we got to do is go through the door, go behind the statue, and the art collector is there. Now, again, we could have done these three missable achievements um, during the game as well. But it's a bit more complicated um, in terms of having to open different stuff and yeah it was just easier to show you the quickest way through the game and do these quickly at the end so behind the two um bonk honey go to jail people statues there is the fourth out of four art collector Ooh. oh my god that's more than i wanted to see you just me so when we get that one we can now go back to the main menu Yes, we'd like to go back to the main menu. Select chapter and then go to Memories from the Future. Now, this is the one we need for 30 fireflies. Now, what you can do is... There's a whole bunch of fireflies all around the map. But what you can just do is collect the, like, six or seven you get at the beginning. Um, go back out to the main menu. Go back in. And like I said, all your fireflies will be collected. So, as you can see, I've obviously got 27, 28. I'll grab 30 now. And then we can move on and get the giant golem achievement. Now again, this is one that we could have got earlier as well, but a whole lot more complications with uh, gates and everything. So, when you've got the 30 fireflies, go up these stairs and then go into the tower directly in front of us again. And again, there's just more fireflies. So they are dotted everywhere, but if you just wanted to, you can keep going back to the main menu and uh, keep collecting the same fireflies over and over because they always stay collected, which is... Just awesome. I like it when a game does that. That is a Bangross. Bangross? Anyway, when we've interacted with the lever, we can now head all the way back down. And the reason we need 30 fireflies is because there is a wall there that, if you don't have 30 fireflies, remains up. So now it should be down for us. So go to the right. We're going down this uh, middle set of stairs. To the right again. To the right. Down the only set of stairs right. Mia. Across the path. The old drizzle jizzle path. Up we go. And to the right. Again, there's a whole lot more fireflies here if you wanted to collect them. But to the right, up to this tower. 
So again, this is where uh, an invisible, uh, a bit, a wall. Uh, 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 can't speak English again. So a wall would be here if you don't have thirty fireflies. A wall would be here, but since we have them, we can now fly up. And this is it. That's literally it. That, that all it is. It is for the achievement. But you know, sometimes it's easier just to do stuff at the end or do stuff at the beginning. And life is a banga la la la. Banga la 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 la. I'm so talented at being annoying. Yeah, well, you still listen to me, so thanks, guys and girls. So anyway, when we get here, then, we're going to have big, massive Graveler dude. Hell of a set of pecs on the guy as well, to be fair. And, uh, yep, that unlocks that achievement. So great giant golem, triple G. Uh, nice schnoz. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'd like to have him on my side, to be honest. So from now, what we can do, exit to the main menu, and we've just got one achievement left. And that is only for collecting 30 butterflies. So tap to select, go to the first one, which is the lighthouse. And now, for me, personally, I had to go back to the main menu and uh, come back into this three times. Just like the fireflies, the more butterflies you collect, they always stay collected. Uh, but that's it. we just got to collect 30 butterflies, and that's, that's that. So... There's about three or four of these little tree areas right here. Um, so just keep going from back and forth to each one. Maybe a bit tricky to grab some sometimes because they fly around and they can be potentially tricky to see. But that's all you've got to do then. So if you feel like you've collected enough, go back to the main menu, come back into the game so that the um, butterflies basically reset. And when you collect 30, the time travel, the butterfly catcher will achieve achievement will unlock, and that will be 1,000 out of 1,000. There we are. Honestly, honestly, what a game! What an enjoyable game! Really, really good. And it, for the money, it is worth it. One of my better enjoyable games from sometimes you as well. And they've released a lot of good stuff. But there we go, then, guys and gals. So that is Summertime Madness done. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game and hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. And if it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Um, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, a huge, massive shout-out and thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys have no idea how much it actually means to me. And again, thank you to everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. Legends, all of you. There we are. That's that one done. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.